We're in the parking lot. We're at Applebee's, which is crazy. We drove one hour to get here, like an hour and 20 minutes to try it out for you guys. You guys have said on my polls, as well as clearly have shown how much you love my eating reviews from this Mr. Beast Burger review right here, as well as a poll I did for what kind of content you guys wanna see. You guys want to see more eating reviews. We are on the DoorDash app, ordering our subs, Faze Rug, the rug father. <laughs> I love Faze Rug. I'm super excited for his sandwich to try it. We should get it cold or pressed. Cold. Probably cold, yeah. Because the Funyuns and the guac. Guac, see, like, you just want guac cold. Okay, we're going to add that to the order. We're just going to get the sandwich. Buffalo chicken. The buffalo Hot chicken. drop. Hot drop. What's on it? Cheetos, crunchy Cheetos. Buffalo sauce topped with... Why are you reading it backwards? <laughs> Grilled chicken, provolone, <laughs> shredded lettuce. You're weird. You started from the bottom reading to the left, mm -hmm. going up. That's so weird. Get it But you hot. want it pressed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Grilled chicken. That one actually seems like it would be good. I'm excited to taste all of these. And then the honey ham. Smoked ham, cheddar, shredded lettuce, slice. They all I have think sliced pressed. red onion. Fritos? <laughs> Ew. Let's <laughs> we'll um, just try that. Just try that. And then I'm gonna get a brownie. But it has nuts. I'm allergic to nuts, so you might be the only one to taste it. Well, you can tell me what kind of nuts, and that way I can try it. If it's just peanuts, I can eat peanuts. But if it's like what if I'm wrong? almonds? What if I tell you that's a it's a peanut and it's an almond and you start? Well, then I'll be dead. Get itchy. <laughs> no, I don't want that responsibility. Too late. Already ordered it. We're in a black, We're in a black car. car. Okay, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring it out right to you guys. All right, thank you. Oh, that was hilarious. He was so confused. He's like, what the heck? Can you send me your right address? Because it says that. It says you're at the you're restaurant. At the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are at the restaurant. Thank you so much. Not a problem, ladies. You, were, were you, you confused? confused? No, that, I was, but then I was like, hold up. And you know what? Let me call them up. They may be somewhere, maybe in Home Depot or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, just, they just said that they about to stop in a, like a couple of, um, like in two weeks. Really? The face-ups are going to yeah. stop? Wow. Yeah, because they were saying that it takes too long to make the sandwiches. But oh. I think they just slow as shit. <laughs> 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 Thank, Thank you. you so much. This is the fuel of the gamers. Oh, let me take my glasses off. Because there's a glare. Actually, I like my glasses on. You know, I wear contacts usually, so I don't have contacts in real. So I really can't see. Okay, just grab one and we'll just open it up. So there's a pool here tab, which is really cool. Wow, this is a cool package. Yeah, this is super dope. It's like huge. Yes. Okay, so you just pull here, so that way you don't have to make a mess in your car. You can just, or when you're gaming, you can just pop this thing open. So I'm, a, why I'm is struggling. It oh, Wait, what then you, you pull it off like that. Oh. I was just going to try to eat around it. But that, oh, that was tough. Oh. I think this is the buffalo chicken. Oh, yeah. This is the one I wanted. Look, yes. See the red on here. Ooh, Ooh, the Cheetos. Cheetos right? That looks good. It smells really good. Mm -hmm. This looks like the honey me. ham. It's pressed. So we got the two hot ones out first. Okay, we'll save the best for last. Remember Ryan Trahan? From a series yeah, okay, and he'll yeah. get a burrito. And he'll... <laughs> All right. Mm. There's some pickles. Oh yeah, I didn't even show you guys mine. Sorry. Mm. But now you can see even, even better now. It's got a little kick. I haven't gotten a Cheeto yet, but it's definitely got some spicy buffalo sauce. The pickles aren't like regular pickles. They're a little sweet. It's really good. This, I don't eat ham. The honey is like very sweet. I love red onions, so that's a plus. Hmm. It just tastes really good to me. For it to be pressed, it's not really hot, and we're sitting right outside the restaurant. Well, the bread the is really thin, so I think they must have pressed it really hard. 
So yeah, look the, how flat it is. Yeah, the bread definitely collapsed. It's definitely flat. Yeah, I'm curious what the bread's gonna look like on the cold one. The, the bread's yeah. probably gonna be super thick, but right. it's a lot of bread. I don't really like a lot of bread. Like, look at that bite. Yeah, that bite's a lot of bread. That's why I left it for you. <laughs> definitely spicy. Have you gotten a Cheeto yet? Not think so. Yeah, we could've put more Cheetos. Like it's definitely like a regular buffalo buffalo sandwich. It's like that buffalo sauce is actually hitting. Like if you like spicy stuff, it's not terribly spicy, but oh, I'm about to have a Cheeto right there. Look at that yeah. bite. I didn't get any Cheetos. I'm about to get that Cheeto. Mm. Hmm. I see what you're saying about the sweetness of the honey. Oh, the honey? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do not like Fritos. So for me, I wouldn't get this. I don't eat ham. I don't eat Fritos. I mean, you can't really taste the Cheetos. It's, it's kind of like a little bit soggy. So when it, mm -hmm. the Cheeto hits your mouth, it's like just a little tiny crunch. But I can tell the heat difference between just the regular buffalo I was hitting to now the Cheeto. Like now my mouth's burning. I'd give the sandwich like probably like an 8.5. Yeah, I was gonna say like an 8. <clears throat> For this one? Mm-hmm. You just don't like ham or Fritos. So for me, I'd give it like a 6. Yeah. For me. I mean, for me too, the honey on the ham is kind of good. But other than that, it's like a regular plain sandwich. Like it's, I don't know. It just feels so basic for me. Yeah. I'd give it like a 6.5. Like a 6, 6.5. They don't lack on the meat though. I mean, look, there's some good, there's some yeah, good substance in the sandwich. I like sandwich. that it's flat because yeah. it makes the proportions feel perfect, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I would definitely get pressed probably. Oh. Base rug self. You saved the best for last. With this one is cold. So the bread's gonna be a little bit different. Oh. Dang. It's literally all right there. Yeah, this bread is huge. Take it out. I wanna see how large the sandwiches Hold actually the back are. Side. They put a lot of guac yeah, on this. Yeah, that's a lot. What is this, Funyuns? Yeah, it's got Funyuns. Oh, it's got red onion. It's got pepperoncinis. Oh yeah, get that one out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is good. They lacked on the red onion a little bit. I only got two on the whole sub, but hey. Oh my gosh, that's so, the bread is so <laughs> thick. <laughs> it scared me. Oh wow. Yeah, that's a big bite. I got a mouthful of pepperoncinis. How was the funyun? Like, did it crunch and everything? Mm -hmm. A little bit soggy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's normal with all of them. I'm shocked that they put chips on a sandwich like that, knowing that they're gonna be probably soggy. Bread is mad yeah, thick. Yeah, that's really thick. I'm going like this, and it's just like bouncing back. Look. Well, this is also <laughs> white bread. I think it really is just pressed, smushed. Yeah, I like the I press like way pressed, better. Yeah. I don't know, there's so much bread, yeah, I can't even really taste that it. Piece. It doesn't look like there's quite as much meat. And there's like this aioli sauce on the bottom. What it looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they definitely lack meat on this one. What is that, turkey meat? Like it's a lot more guac than anything else, I feel like. They could have added a little bit more meat. This is my big bite right here. It's got a little bit of everything on that bite, so. It's everything we eat on a regular, though. I love pepperoncinis, red onion. We eat turkey and cheese all the time. We love guacamole. Should be good. It's just the bread. You would substitute the bread. Should have got it pressed. I feel like it's lacking. Like, ugh, it's not hitting. Like, I want it to hit so bad, but it's not. It's like the sandwich isn't balanced. Maybe it has too many different flavors that my palate can't even understand what's happening. <laughs> I like it. I, I don't like the bread. I think hot would, a pressed sandwich would be better. My bite, I didn't even taste the guacamole. That's what I'm saying, like one bite, you'll taste like a bunch of this or a bunch of that. Like it's I not like evenly. Straight pickle. It's not even. Like my first bite was full of pepperoncinis and then my second bite was full of guacamole and one Funyun that I barely tasted. Like I didn't taste anything but guacamole that bite. So it's like hard to determine if it's a good sandwich or not. Cause it's not like, 
every time it I bite know. it, it, it's a different burst of flavors. But that could be good for some people. Some people want a new burst of flavor every time they take a bite. Not a lot of meat. You definitely taste everything but the turkey. Yeah, you definitely don't. You don't or the taste cheese. the turkey or the cheese. Or yeah. the cheese, yeah. Everything else is so overpowering. This is my order. Definitely number one. Give it an 8.5. This, I give it like a seven. It's mid, like I wanna be so hype about it, but it's mid. And then the honey ham, I give it like a six or a 6.5. This is the same order for me. Yeah. Maybe if this, maybe if Faze Rug Sub was pressed, it'd be better or less, more meat. I don't know, every place is different, obviously. Time for the brownie. Brownie, I made a brownie for my brownie. Here, you can open it. Honestly, they should have made it without nuts. At least one. There's two different brownies and both of them have nuts. Like, there should have been one brownie without nuts. What's up with um, them and video chips. game people and chips? Is it, I guess so they Gamers can game love and chips. chips, yeah. Here is the brownie. That looks like cashews to me. Is that cashew? Almonds? Might be almonds. Mouth is already, like... Really? I'm like, ugh. It's warm. Smells very, very chocolatey. Who smells a brownie? No, you gotta put a chip on there. It's good. You're not saying any words. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking like the texture, you know how some more like gooey brownies are like mm -hmm, gooey. Mm -hmm. This is more like cakey. Really? Yeah, so it's a little bit but different. Is it like, cause it feels warm from it's the warm. bottom, but is it like really warm? Or no, like, no, it's not really warm, just warm a little bit. I think it's a walnut. Are you allergic to that? Walnut, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know some, yeah, walnut. The chip adds a little salt. It's not bad. What would you give the brownie though? I like the brownie. I have a sweet tooth, so it's hard for somebody to mess up a brownie. I like it. I would say like a seven. So, yeah. It's a large chunk of brownie. Yeah, I mean, it is a, it is a really size. good size, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what you paid for this, but. $5.99. $5.99? Not bad. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed our review of the Phase Subs. Now, if you want to be a part of our giveaway, there's going to be two gift cards being given away. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys for the love and support on my channel. So make sure you subscribe, put your post notifications on. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment your specialty sub that you would make if you had the opportunity to be just like Phase Clan and make your own sub, as well as follow me on Instagram to be entered into the giveaway for a gift card. Love you fam. Peace. Hello. You see me and I'm grinding.